hmm, I wonder what story it is today. What if I were to say a really small green vegetable? Can anyone think of that story with a small green vegetable? Hmm. And a princess. Yes. Hmm. So it's a story with a very small green vegetable and a princess. This one is called The Princess and the Pea. I hope you enjoy this one. I hope you're all snuggled up ready for the bedtime story. If you are, then I'll begin. A long time ago in a kingdom far, far away, there was a handsome prince. And this handsome prince was as kind as he was handsome. And his father and his mother absolutely doted on him. And they could not wait until the day when he was to be married. They hoped that he would be married to a beautiful princess. So on his 18th birthday, the uh, queen of the kingdom decided that she would invite princesses to come and meet her son. But she wanted it to be the perfect person for him. So she decided she would set some tasks to test if they were the right person for the uh, handsome prince. Oh, are you sure that you need to go to this much trouble? The prince would say as the uh, queen would rush around the palace setting tasks to test the princesses. Yes, yes, I'm quite sure. I have set the perfect task. Servants, can you go to the bedroom and can you place 10 feather mattresses, one on top of the other? 10 feather mattresses, one on top of the other, said the prince. Why on earth would you need to do that? Don't worry, said the queen. I know what I'm doing. And so the servants took one feather mattress, two feather mattress, oh, three feather mattress, four feather mattress, five feather mattress, six feather mattress. I hope you're counting along at home. Seven feather mattress, eight feather mattress, nine feather mattress, and the final one. Can we all do this one together? Ten feather mattress. Oh, and so the bed was propped up with ten feather mattresses. Huh. Wow, everybody said. That is really tall. And so they had to get a specific set of steps that led all the way from the bottom right up to the top of the mattresses. And now, said the Queen, I am going to place this teeny tiny pea at the very bottom of the bed. And then my test is set. If a princess can sleep in that bed without feeling the pea, then she is not suitable for my son. But if she uh, can feel the pea and does not have a very good night's sleep, why, then she is not good enough for him. And so the task was set. Can you all show me a teeny tiny pea at home? Oh, how small, really small. But for the purpose of this, I think we'll go with a bit of a bigger, bit of a bigger one. We'll pop that at the bottom of our mattresses. Whew. Gosh. And there's a specific step ladder that leads all the way to the top. Now. The king and the queen and the prince, they waited for the princesses to arrive. One came, two came, three came, four came, five came, six came, seven came, eight came, nine came. But all of them slept so well on that bed. They'd come downstairs in the morning and the queen would say, how did you sleep, dear? And the princesses would say, oh, I had the most wonderful night's sleep. And off they would be sent far, far away from that castle because they were not suitable if they had a good night's sleep in that bed. Oh, a hundred princesses came and slept in the bed and all of them had a fantastic night's sleep until there was a hundred and one princesses who came to visit. Now, that night, it was particularly stormy. Oh, it was raining. Can we show the rain at home? Oh, we could even slap our thighs and do some thunder. We could go crash, crash. Can we do some thunder? We go crash. We can do some rain with our hands as well. 
oh, it was a really stormy evening. So stormy that all of the castle was buckled up to try and keep everyone safe and warm. But there was a knock at the door. Oh, can you hear the knock at the door? Oh, can you hear that? Who could it be in a weather like this? So the queen went to the door and as she opened the door, wow, stood in front of her was a poor woman. Oh, can you please let me inside? Oh, it's raining so hard and I am soaked from head to toe. It was a princess. But the queen looked at her and thought, hmm, you look a little bit more like a servant at the moment than a princess. You're soaking. Oh, I know I'm soaked from head to toe, but oh, please let me in so I can have a good night's sleep. <laughs> and so the queen took a look at the lady and let her inside. And she said to the prince, oh, you have one more visitor, one more. Now, I know she doesn't look like much because she's very, very wet in the rain, but let's see if she passes the test. And so the princess had a lovely warm bath. Oh, it's such a lovely, lovely castle you've got here. Such a lovely warm bath and oh, gorgeous, gorgeous towels. You know, those thick, fluffy towels. Oh, just wonderful. And then she went into the bedroom. Oh, this is very strange. I've never seen a bed with one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mattresses on it. Ten mattresses. Are you sure? And the queen said, yes, it's very comfortable, my dear. You must climb up the ladder and, and try it for yourself. Oh, well, if you're sure, then I will. And so the princess climbed up and up the ladder. And when she reached the top, she bounced and bounced on the mattresses. Oh, yes, you're right. This is rather comfortable. And she settled down to sleep. Now, that night, it was so stormy. No one, no one was getting a good night's sleep with all of that rain. But the next day, it was a lovely sunrise and the queen and the king and the prince were having breakfast. Hmm. And who was to come down the stairs? Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, said the princess. Oh, said the queen, did you sleep well, my dear? Oh, no said the princess. Oh, it was horrible. I tossed and I turned and it was just so uncomfortable. It was like there was something in my bed, something in my mattress and I just couldn't move it no matter how hard I tried. Everybody's faces lit up. The king's, the queen's, the princess. Could it really be? Had this princess passed the test? Oh, said the queen, I'm so sorry. Come on, sit down and I'll give you a nice cup of tea. And so the queen introduced the princess to the prince and they got on really well. And then the queen told the princess, do you want to see why you didn't sleep well last night? Uh, uh, yes, I suppose so, said the princess. And the queen showed her that there was 10 mattresses and underneath the final mattress, there was the teeny tiny pea. Can you all show me the size of that pea at home? Hold it up. Teeny tiny pea, which was stopping the princess from sleeping. Oh, goodness. Oh, it was a test, said the princess. 
and the prince and the princess got on so well that they married later on that year and they lived happily ever after. <laughs> the end. Oh, what a fabulous story. Thank you so much for joining in at home. I hope you enjoyed the tale of the princess, that's me, by the way, and the pea. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody at home. Should we say goodbye to our princess? Bye, bye. Can we do some waves? Bye, bye, princess. Good night. See you again. <laughs> Fantastic. What a funny story. Can you imagine a pea keeping you awake underneath 10 mattresses? Oh, dearie me, I don't think I'd want that. It would be very uncomfortable. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed tonight's story. And if you liked my princess puppet just there from my story this evening, you might want to take a look at Puppets by Post because they're a fantastic local uh, business which are sending puppets out in the post and you might have some for yourself and make and tell stories stories at home with all of your family. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, it'll be Vicky tomorrow night telling you a bedtime story and I, oh, I wonder what she's going to tell. Maybe it'll be another traditional tale. Do uh, let us know if you enjoy these stories. Do let us know what your favourite books are and maybe we could read that one out. But for now, that's it. Good night, everybody.